hello everybody welcome to um, my preview for the champs ladder season 12 this is a uh, challenge the bracket that uh, VGP made so we've got Chorce versus Halfling in the first round Zons versus a goblin team who didn't accept his ticket so Zons will win that uh, Kislev Velahopia versus Crucifer's Chorfs. Um Underworld Orcs Chaos Vamps, Dwarves Necro, Ogres versus Humans, Hyles versus Necro, Woodies versus Elves, Pro Elves, Nurgle versus Lizards, Rats versus Woodies, two top of the league I think Adam was, and Drick was top with Elves, like so that's gonna be a crazy match. And then I play the winner if I win my match, which is great against Undead. And then we've got Undead versus Norse, Bretts versus Orcs, Chaos versus Kemri. And rats versus dark elves. So um, we can go into Blood Bowl two and have a look at these matches. So the first one is uh, Zaginis get a Cluedo. <laughs> Great. <laughs> um, ah, he's done the old Twitch TV for his thing. Very good. So this is probably the best team in the competition I would say um, claw palm jump up pro pro pros fine because he's got jump up and obviously you can greed you can greed blocks as well but um, you know dauntless is an option fens an option there, there are other options other than pro but it, it it is quite good with a with a three plus jump up to be fair that's a pretty good pro choice um, <laughs> Mighty Blow guard stand firm. Only stand firm. I would have rather had Mighty Blow just in case he rolled a claw, but maybe maybe he skilled him up late. Uh, guard, guard, guard. Maybe he should have just taken guard as well. He could have just had an extra guard there. Uh, claw pom, obviously. So he's got two claw pommers. Mo minus movement chaff isn't great, is it? Uh, but here's here's the star of the team: strength six, ball centaur, blood break tackle. Outrageous. Perfect bull, pretty much. Um, a blodge bull, guard, dirty player. <laughs> Block edge four. A guard as well. Wow, he's got a lot of guard, hasn't he? If he'd gone dodge, there though, funnily enough, if he'd gone dodge, you could have taken two hands now and had a perfect carrier, couldn't he? So maybe he should have taken dodge on the uh, hobgoblin, but three guard hobgoblins is interesting, isn't he? So he's got eight guard total. That's a lot of guard. Um, so 15 players total it's not actually 2240 because he's got 110 to come off uh, or he could buy an extra hobgoblin or whatever so yeah it's a hell of a hell of a team and uh hell of a record as well 2762 of course he played most of his games up loads of tv because he played in the first week but uh fair enough still to zagini good for him um and he's playing against the halflings no Wherever they are. No. Diomed. And he's got a thousand TV team. Some guard trees, a bludge halfling, sidestepper, edge four for the one turn. With sure feet, is that? Yeah, sure feet. That's fair enough. I mean, sprint, he obviously would have liked sprint and sure feet with it. Diamond tackle, sure feet. So. He's got he's got some skills, but um, I don't know. I think I think he's probably going to have no chance against the Chorfs. Eleven two zero though. Wow, eleven two zero with halflings. So <laughs> he obviously knows how to play, doesn't he? That is ridiculous. Um, and he's got the cheaper stadium. Uh, actually, it's not at his stadium, is it? It's whoever's at home. So Zagini is at home. So it's at Zagini Stadium, which is the Magic Dome. Um, but yeah, putting your house on the flings. Um, that is a reasonable record. That's an unbelievable record with halflings, isn't it? 11 2 0 with halflings. So I mean, he's probably going to have Morg and Deep Root and a chef and a wizard, isn't he? He can have all of that. So actually, he's going to have four. Three strength six and one strength seven. So, you know, actually, Zagini, but then Zagini has his strength six bull to combat them. So, 
Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to give. I think I'm going to give it to Zagini though. Uh, yeah, the, obviously the halflings could win. Juan, she obviously desperately wants uh, the flings to win because he's got a buy. The goblins did not register, so um, he has moaning chicks. They, the Amazons do moan all the time, don't they? Yeah. Um, and it's a disgusting team, actually, isn't it? Six, only sixteen sixty TV, thirteen players, loads of bludge, some rodge, tackle, dirty player, kick. Not enough guard. I guess. I guess the blitzers are underdeveloped. You'd rather. You'd rather have a claw pot, like not claw bomber, tackle bomber. I guess and maybe one just died. You'd like a tackle bomber in there, wouldn't you? And uh, really, but uh, yeah, decent catches, good catches, in fact. But yeah, there's no, there's no, uh, there's no proper killer. Yeah, that's the that's the bigger disadvantage here. And that, but then that's why it's sixteen sixty TV as well, right? But yeah, there's no, there's no killer. There's only a mighty blow tackle. So the the thing it's really missing is a proper killer and just generally better developed uh, blitzers. But still, it's still a good team. It's it's disgusting for the TV, isn't it? For the team value, it is disgusting. Um, and twenty two two three. Average record, I guess, for Amazons, because they're Amazons. <laughs> Probably just depends on how many times he's played dwarves and chorfs. <laughs> um, so yeah, so and he's in the top. The, let's let's do him by the quarters of the bracket. So the top quarter of the bracket is is the so he, he in the second round will be the winner. Probably Zagini versus Huanchi, um, and I guess Zagini will smash him. <laughs> and then we've got Vela Hoppy as Kislev versus Crucifer's Chorfs. So Vela Hoppy, oh yeah, Kislev wing dancers, yeah, those were the those were the those were the days, weren't they? Um, Warhammer, right? So he's got a minus move, Crocs. He's still a Crocs, so fair enough. Four re rolls, um, movement eight, bludge. Sure hands catcher, very nice. Wrestle Dauntless catcher. No block catcher, very, very risque. Two plus strength linos, oh wow. Kislev, without any doubt, the best lineman to get stat ups on. Well, I say that, maybe there's a better one. But, um, you know, strength or agility on, on linemen make, make Kislev amazing. Wrestle Strip, oh, it's Wrestle Strip, I just said, I just said, yeah, I thought it was weird. I thought, why isn't he gone Wrestle Strip? But um, yeah, thanks for correcting me, chat. That is actually strip wrestle strip. I thought it was weird that he went wrestle dauntless, but I thought fair enough. Um, so he doesn't actually have a wrestle wrestle strip lino, which would be kind of better. But yeah, block frenzy, fair enough. It's it's a bit light, isn't it? This team, bit lightweight. Um, would like more more stuff. I mean, it's okay though. It can win, especially with a wizard. Seventeen eight three, decent record. Uh. Yeah, zero guard, zero mighty blow. Yeah, it's very lightweight, very lightweight. And, uh, bantam weight. Yeah, that's that's uh, that's gonna struggle <laughs> because the team he's playing against is another chaos dwarf juggernaut. Um, no, no claw pom on this team though. He does have a piling on. He's gone. He's gone for the stand firm spam a bit here, hasn't he? With four stand firm, six guard, strength up. Chorf blocker. I don't like the plus edge on the bull centaurs really when they've already got break tackle. Um, but blodge break tackle one. Strength four goblin. Decent. Movement seven show sure hands. Couple of dirty players. And he can buy he can buy a few more if he wants. He can he can you know he's got a bit of freedom to buy more players or just drop TV. Uh, but look at the end of the day, kids live with a wizard. They can they can do things, can't they? Uh, but yeah, it's a, it's very light without guard and mighty. Well, there's the guard, one guard and one mighty blow, both on the same player. Uh, but the, the strength four linemen are great. Edge five catcher can do crazy things, can't he? With a wizard, especially. So he's got half a chance with a wizard. But realistically, with overtime, you've definitely got to give the the favoritism to um, to Christopher there. The other one is Underworld Juhanian versus. Gerion's Orcs. All right. Aha. Uh -huh. How to build a better rat. And uh, now this actually is a better rat team than the Underworld that got the finals, I think. 
he's got two claw pawns. That's why. <laughs> you know? Underworld are like, try to get lucky with your claw hits. And he's got a claw troll and he's got two claw pawn blitzers. So, he doesn't have the strength, you know, but he, he's going to be able to induce Glart in a lot of games to get a bit more strength and more claw. And uh, yeah, he's, a, he's light on guard. And he's light on strength as well because he doesn't have that strength five lineman that the other underworld team had. But he's got a very nice ball carrier, actually a real agility four, agility five for dodging. So he's got some bullshit there. He's, uh, he's lacking two heads on the goblins, I guess. Um, but still, I like this a lot better than the team that that uh, Elliot's last season. And uh, fifteen three one, outrageous record. Um, but yeah, obviously it's more dice based, isn't it, with a claw bomb? Jump up claw bomb as well. I mean, these are going to decide the game really, how well these two go. Um, yes, that's the thing. Lack of two heads on the goblins is actually a pretty huge factor. And yeah, he needs more players. Yeah, so it it it's it does look better than the than the last season's underworld, but um, on the other hand, maybe they they are lacking a bit. Oh, and he's not actually getting a. He's not actually getting any inducements because the Orcs are 1530. Wow! What a player. Well, these Orcs are... So he's a great player, but where are the skills on this Orc team? Holy moly. Only one block on the Black Orcs. A couple of guard. A claw palm. Okay, good. But, um... Wow. It's one player Orcs, yeah. It's literally... This movement seven strength five, guard, sure a sure hands guy. It's just all on this guy, and they just don't have a team. That's bizarre. Um, the record is twenty one seven two, so he's done. He's done very well, but uh, yeah, that is a garbage team. So actually, I think Johanian's favourite to win that, and then probably Christopher. Christopher's got to be favourite to beat the Kislev. So then I guess Christopher. Versus Jehanian. But the fact there's overtime, I guess Christopher's favourite to come through out of those four. And then it'll be Christopher versus the Guinea, probably, to see who gets to the quarters. Um, which is pretty cool, isn't it? That should be an interesting match. If that get Well, whatever happens, it's going to be interesting, isn't it? Right. Next up, we've got Baki. Baki's Chaos versus Random Boys Vampires. So. Takes a little bit of time, doesn't it? Twenty ten without any money. Wow, this looks a nice team. This looks a nice team. Uh, all block guard, lots of mighty blow, a strength guy, no ball carrier. Uh, but apart from the lack of a ball carrier and lack of piling on, it's nice, isn't it? It's a lot of TV though, and he doesn't have piling on, so. But if he plays well, if he plays well with it, uh, then then it's it, you know it's only one tackle. Yeah, it's not very good against elves, is it? That's true. It's weak against elves. Only one tackle and no sure hands, no no ball carrier at all. This this, this naked strength four will be the ball carrier, won't he? Um, so yeah, very weak against elves. This chaos build, and funnily enough, he's playing vampires, which I like elves. Uh, but still, yeah, I don't know. 24-6-3, that's a very good record with Chaos. So, yeah, but I think you should have had Pine on, for sure. Um, and he is against Random Boys Vamps. If I can find them. This is a nice mini game, isn't it? Search through the teams. This might sting. It certainly stung me as he diced the crap out of me when he, uh, when he played me. I like the kit that he's got here. For what for what that's worth. He has the insanity vamp, doesn't he? Six five six eight. No no bludge on him though. I mean he really he really needed to get this guy to seventy six for the playoffs, I think. Um you know, I think you've gotta get I think six five six is amazing. Um, I think it's amazing to have the agility six, I really do. But um I think you've gotta back it up with bludge. I think you should have probably played more games. Uh twenty five six, maybe he was like scared of losing his spot if he carried on playing, but I think he, you know, 
he's got an apple for this guy. He's got regen as well. Just play games until this guy. Because if, if this guy's got Blodge, he can win you the tournament by himself. Without Blodge, he still can win you the tournament by himself, but it's a lot harder, isn't it? It's a lot more unreliable without Blodge. So I think I think he probably should have just kept playing to get this guy Blodge. But, you know, I can see why he, he didn't. He's got Blodge on the others, Mighty Blow. Movement 7, Sidestep. He's, he's got some vampires. But, um... It's like, it's an okay team. He'll have a wizard. He's got vampires with a wizard and an agility six guy. So he can definitely win the game for sure, especially without a proper carrier on the uh, on the chaos team. So yeah, that could be interesting. He could cause an upset, but I think the chaos have got the edge, of course. Um, and they've got dwarf, dwarf bashers versus a necro team. Right. Pint of the Dust, is this the one? No, I think it's a different, the different, the other Necro team. This is uh, Pixie Dusts. Pixie Dusts. Dwarves, usurped, uh, usurped Bleeding Hippies Dwarves. He's got a Troll Slayer with Tackle Palm Jugs and Agility randomly. Uh, just a Bare Bones Runner Reserve and a Bludge Movement one. Tackle, pretty good. Kick off return. Then some guard and some mighty blow and some stand firm. Uh, yeah, just pretty much standard. Very much, very similar to mine, I guess, actually. Uh, 26-84, good record. And, yeah, not much to say about it. It's, it's a dwarf team with some, with some guard and some mighty blow and some stand firm. Uh... So yeah, interesting. Inter only one troll slayer. I think uh, I think that's a pretty good team, but it might be outclassed by the by the necro that he's facing here. Where are they? A touch of death. This is the one that he's playing. All right, sixteen ninety. So maybe not always got a mighty blow core. Missing the guard white, but guard, block guard in his flesh. He's very good flesh. He's there. Very nice ghoul, ghoul, ball carrier. Bludge guard there. So he's he's actually got a very a very good T V efficient necro team here, hasn't he? This is uh this is a pretty good eighteen three zero. So he hasn't played a lot of games, but what what development he's got is pretty spot on, isn't it, really? Obviously we'd like one more for sidestep here and eight more here. But uh that's that's a very that's a very nice looking team, especially for the TV. So it's it's inter it can go either way really. Necro against dwarves, you know, if the if the if the claw mighty blow does things, then it gets horrible for the uh, for the dwarves. If it if the claw doesn't do much, then it gets horrible for the necro. So that would be a very interesting one, very interesting indeed, actually. And now we've got ogres versus humans. <laughs> oh dear, battle of the battle of the shit teams. Uh, oh, he is the ogre. No, good luck. All right, four e rolls. That's why his team is so high. TV. Edge three, sure hands break tackle piling on, ogre. Okay, <laughs> block tackle. No block frenzy. Might piling on. So he's going to put the piling on route here, isn't he? Four piling on guys. Um. No skills in the Noblars, really. One diamond tackle. And uh, 872. So he's got a great record. So he, he knows what he's doing. But I really don't like the four heroes because it's just so much TV. But obviously it works for him. So uh, he maybe he maybe he can get it working against the humans. Which are these ones. Human. All too human. Put by Paul here. He does not have a tackle mighty blow. Only one tackle on the entire team. Which is really what you'd, you'd expect the opposite from humans. You'd expect all the skills and the blitzers. With loads of mighty blow tackles. So actually, this is a pretty good matchup for the ogres, isn't it? They don't have a tackle mighty blow at all. A slow blitzer. Some blodge, some edge four. <laughs> Look how bad this is. 160k. He'd be 120 if he was a dark elf. Um... But yeah, I don't know. This doesn't this doesn't look a very exciting human team, does it? This could be the dream first round for the ogres. 
16-6-3, yeah, three catches. Oh, actually, the catches will be a terror. The catches will be a terror for the uh, for the snotlings. But um, if he's got a shoe hands ogre, so yeah, that's that's a, a seventy hundred. It's on, a lot of it's on this uh, thrower. One pom, but also one of his three guard. I really don't like this human team, but it, you know, all credit to him for getting this record with a human team. But uh, yeah, that could actually be a, a first round win for ogres there. Unbelievably, I think whoever wins out of that game is going to lose the winner of the next one though, which is high elves versus necro. Um, which is this by the dust team here? Seventeen ten, movement nine, blodge werewolf, but a pom, <laughs> movement nine blodge pom werewolf, <laughs> and a mighty blow werewolf. Wow, so they're really great werewolves. Block guard, great fleshies, guard on both the whites with dodge as well. Hurting him, I guess that is. Dirty players missing, but then he's guard as well. Bare bones carrier. I like to see the bare bones carrier. But um, yeah, and this is only seventeen ten TV. All the TV and the wolves, isn't it? So he's absolutely going to be. I don't like only having one one ghoul. I like having the bare bones ghoul carrier, but I would also like to see you know like a blodge ghoul or a wrestle a rog block up wrestle ghoul. Only two re rolls, no leader. So in overtime, that's going to hurt him. Um, he could he could maybe buy a third reroll actually with 140k, but yeah, very very t very, very TV efficient. It's all it all, it's all lives he lives and dies by these two wolves, doesn't he? Um, if one of them gets fouled out or cars you know by a block, he's he's up shit creek, as it were. Um, and he's playing the high elves, which is Mike the Machine, Twitch All Stars, 1890. He'll he'll be getting the wizard as well currently. Against this team, or maybe he's re rolls a re roll or something. Um, if you notice, this is his team's Twitch All Stars, and he doesn't have Jimmy Fantastic on it. But never, never mind, I'll forgive him. <laughs> Only two re rolls. I don't think he has leader. He does have leader. I would lied. Movement five, but I guess mm, I really don't like the movement five guy, but he does have leader, so yeah, I'm not a fan of this. A dodge thrower. Really not a fan of this guy. <laughs> four, four, three, three, eight. What the hell? Maybe he'll sack him. One, two, three, four. Maybe he'll sack this guy or something. I don't know. Um, I probably died. Yeah, probably died. That's true. Uh, right, let's go with that. Let's go with that. Uh, Pom Pom Blitzer is amazing, obviously, and uh, he's got okay catches. Wrestle strip, but not really. Not really. The catches are a bit, catches are a bit light, but he can still win. Obviously, he's got agility four. He can get removals. He doesn't have a dirty player for the uh, for the for the pom wolf. So the pom wolves might just tee off on him. Be interesting. Twenty two two three. So very good record, especially with high elves. I didn't look at the necro record, did I? Or did I? Twenty five five four. Is that the right one? Yeah. Twenty five five four. So yeah, all, I mean, obviously they're all good. They're all good records, aren't they? Otherwise, they wouldn't be in the playoffs. But uh, yeah, some some are better than others. <laughs> That's going to be an interesting game, actually. The Necro are very TV efficient, but then you know it's they've just they're all also bare bones. They're only it's all in the it's all up to the wolves in that game, isn't it? Right. Next up, we've got an elf off Spartaco, one of the best players in the world versus. Uh, Fat in with Elven Union. So Spartaco with his late his late season charge to take my uh, woody woody uh, spot. But here we are, Fat in. This is a pretty decent team actually. He's got his three war dancers, but one doesn't have block, which is obviously horrible. But then Edge Five Leap doesn't have leap. Edge five dodge guard is great. Blodge guard. Lodge guard. So, you know, he's got loads of guard in this team. Loads of guard. Five guard. That's outrageous. Movement nine, sidestepper. So he's got a pretty good one turn threat. Nice blitzers. Mighty blow blitz every turn. The weakness is only having 11 players, I guess, for 1970 TV. Oh, no, 12 players. 1970 TV. Um, it's a lot of TV. But it's a. 
it's a nice uh, it's a nice team and 2843 nice record but he's playing the beast that is Spartaco who's, who's late run cost me my woody spot in the playoff he's actually got two two journeymen so he's actually 1810 with only 11 players so at the moment he's getting a wizard um, <laughs> an armor nine <laughs> tree but he's got block strength four war dancer is obviously cheating movement nine agility five catcher is cheating as well um, and a mighty blow dancer like it's good but it's so bare bones isn't it it's really it's a really wrecked wrecked team but look he's he's got the the catcher's godlike and he's got a godlike strength for frenzy war dancer so he's got two really good players that could win it for him but you know 29-3-4 really good record but against some team like you know maybe he's one of the chalks or whatever I think he's going to uh, he's going to come unstuck really against one of the bash teams you would think wouldn't you at some point um, and then we've got Nurgo Kuid Convoy versus Lizard Moneybags alright Moneybags, eighteen sixty. Moneybags was uh, was in another game somewhere. <laughs> That's a great, great analysis there. So you know, lizards. It's all going to come down whether they get killed or not, isn't it? Really. And against Nurgle, they've got a good chance to get killed. I think it's okay having a couple of crappy solos to put on the line. Which he's got a mighty blow first in all of them, which is bold isn't it to say the least um but yeah he's got he's got a good he's got a good set of saurus there well it doesn't have break tackle on this one but then he's got he's got a jump up pommer i'm not sure about the pom i think maybe if it was dodge break tackle it might be a bit more scary in the playoffs <laughs> but uh yeah jump up pile is fine i guess yeah, one has block first only, but um, you know mostly might roll first. Obviously, he's got this amazing super skink, blodge, agility four, size step, show hands, perfect skink, pretty much perfect skink there. Got everything you need, but if if he's giving away a wizard, obviously he doesn't really want to carry on him. But that is that is a hell of a skink, hell of a skink there, and he's got a sprint one I guess for more chance of one turn, depending on what players they've got. But yeah, he's got five four guard, lots of mighty blow. Um, and look, Mighty Blows are valid way to protect them because you can't always guard a lot of people. So if if he just made lots of removers, like you know, Ducky's team against the Underworld, if he had if he had had Mighty Blow spam like this, maybe it would have worked out for him. You know, he had a limited limited removal uh, ability really on his team, and so all of his strength and guard doesn't really matter when they're getting hit by Claw Palm, do they? So uh, you know, having Mighty Blow going for removals first is absolutely valid, and then twenty five two five. Is, is okay I guess but uh, maybe he's maybe slightly not up to par with what you'd expect from a lizard man record on a ladder it depends though they, they get hammered at high TV so it probably is a good record overall um, and he's Kuei Convoy's Nurgle here they are he only has one claw palm two claw palm only one tackle but he is strength four, so he'll be getting three dice when he hits skinks. Um, he's got a block beast with guard and stand furnace. He's got a he's got a perfect beast really, and yeah, he's got loads of guard and might block and might blow and claw. He doesn't have a ball carrier. That's his weakness, isn't it? He doesn't have a ball carrier at all here. His ball carrier is a rookie. <laughs> So that, that's all he's missing, though. But it makes his team TV efficient, doesn't it? Uh, you know, he's, if, as long as he avoids Wood Elves, etc., he doesn't really need it. Although, the winner of his first match plays Spartaco or Fatin, so he's probably going to need a ball carrier. So, yeah, you, you don't need to care about the ball if, if you completely murder everybody, do you? And he's, got, he's certainly got the setup to murder teams. Quite like this team, actually. 29-8-6. It looked like it maybe looks a bit worse of a record, but obviously for Nurgle that's uh, that's pretty good. 
So yeah, I would, I would fancy the Nurgle to beat the Lizards there. Um, oh yeah, I forgot about this little whole brackets thing, wasn't it? Uh, it's a bit late for that now. But I think maybe he's, maybe he's, let's say, the High Elves would get through from there. So if, well, I'll do it at the end. I'll do it at the end. I'll do it at the end because it's, it's done too. I've done, I'm too far down now. So next up, we've got a crazy match, which is a Dan Skaven versus Drift Woody, Wood Elves. So this is the top Skaven and top of the ladder versus the top Wood Elf team. So this is a, this is a crazy, crazy match up here, a dance uh, Skaven. 28-4-2. Outrageous. Uh, Pom, Tackle, Storm Vermin. Very nice. Strength 4 guard. Okay, I mean, a lot of people do go guard on one, claw palm on the other. I personally would rather have both claw palm, but, you know, it's fair enough. It, as far as it goes, an 18-point Storm Vermin, that is the best 18-point Storm Vermin you can probably make. Or maybe it's a strength 5 one, but, for you know, that's, that's, that's good. He's got his natural one-turner there with leap as well. Armour 6, he's not going to care too much about. Edge 5, leaper, sure hands guy. Sure hands and wrestle though, but so he's just a recovery one rather than a ball carrying one. Um, so he's missing a ball carrier really, I guess. He, oh no, he's not. He's got a blood step, strength four, strength three one, but then he doesn't have sure hands on this guy, which is, could be problematic against some teams. Uh, wrestle, strip, dauntless, tackle. So the the absolute perfect in terms of you know the the, the skills that you want on a sacker. The only thing is, the fact that he's got all four, it's a lot of TV for, you're probably not going to need them all, you know, in, in one hit. But it's it's fine that he's got all the sacking skills. Yeah. He, he's got all the skills, but, um, yeah, I don't know. Wrestle kick, edge two, fair enough. You know, you, you can't afford to sack rats at this in this kind of thing, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 players. So he's got a nice amount of players. Doesn't have a dirty player. But um, yeah, he, he's, he's not going to get into the cage very well with him without two feet, two feet, two heads or, you know, agility five or anything. So it's not easy to get hits with him. But yeah, as, as far as sacking, he's got all the sacking skills. Not sure he's an, uh, that good of a sacking player though. Uh, but look, you can't argue with his record. 28 4 2 is unbelievable. And uh, he's up against Drixassens, which has a similarly ridiculous record of 22 3 1, um, which, is, which is an insane record, though obviously they are Wood, wood Elves. And uh, he's only got 11 players, 1940 TV. Um, and he's got Block Guard, Tree Man, Mighty Blow, two Mighty Blow War Answers. Insane catcher that doesn't have block, but he does have movement nine, <laughs> strength three, and agility five. Um, yeah, and he's got wrestle catchers, guard on one of them. He's got three guard total on elves. Uh, it's it's not that an exciting team, is it? Actually, it's actually not that great a team. To be fair, but he he does have a strip ball, so. He's, he's got shadowing for War Dancer. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think, I think I, you know, fair enough going wrestle first. But once you've got guard, I would have gone block for sure, yeah. Um, mm, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, generally, elves versus Skaven, elves are favoured because elves can just do more elfy stuff than, than Skaven can. Skaven have four super elves, but then elves just have 11 elves, don't they? It, it's going to come down whether they tackle... The tackle pommer might just carve through his team. He does have overtime. He will be able to foul a lot, although he doesn't have dirty player. Um, you know, Skaven are a monster team, so I wouldn't be surprised to see the Skaven win. Um, but you know, you just don't know, do you? Uh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't strongly is a is a. I wouldn't say strongly either way. To be honest, it's anyone's game. Uh, Right, next up, and the winner of that game, right, so the two best teams in the competition there, yeah, right, the top of the ladder, top Wood Elves, yeah, so probably two of the best, oh no, they weren't top Wood Elves, were they, uh, Spartacus actually got top Wood Elves in the end, but one of the best teams, and the actual top team of the ladder, the winner of that game plays the winner of this match, which is an undead team with a silly name, which I can't say, and me, so I got a bit of a crap draw 
in terms of the second round if I win the first round. Uh, yeah, if the Woodies had the bench, yeah, exactly, that's the thing. The Woodies not having a bench can be huge. So here's my Dwarf team, 1780 TV. Loads of guard, loads of stand firm, loads of mighty blow. Jump up, tackle Pommer. Ball carry without block, I really wanted to play. I really wanted to play more games to get uh, to get block on the carrier, but then I thought if I did, I risked spinning into 2,000 TV Chaos team, which could just kill all of these guys. So I didn't bother playing the extra few games to try and get block on him, which could be costly, but you know, maybe hopefully not. Probably going to be horrible in the second round if I play the Wood Elves or the Skaven. The Skaven not so much actually. The Skaven have wrestle on their ball on their ball get as well. That might, might not win the first round. So let's focus on the first round. Uh, lots of guard, lots of mighty blow, um, a dauntless guy, and uh, twenty-seven four five. Not the best record, but you know it is what it is. A couple of games I played really really poorly with them. Uh, to be honest. Right, versus Necro. Is it Necro? Not Undead. Hmm. Let's see if I can find them. This is the challenge. Here we are. 1860. So, uh, <laughs> this is jammed. Oh. <laughs> Very good. So, he's, he's, cut, he's cut a player and cut his extra cash, so I'm not going to be able to buy a wizard. Um, I'll probably get, like, an apple. And he's actually got a lot of stand firm as well. He's got four stand firm, three guard, a pommer. So he's got nearly as much hitting power as I've got. And he's got nearly as much stand firm as I've got. Obviously, if I get to hit the ghouls with tackle, I should be able to wreck them. His strength four wrestle tackle rather than blood sure hands is interesting. But I can see why he's done it. But hopefully, you know, he's only got three ghouls, which is good for me, I think. So he's not that fast. It's just going to come down. He's got the dirty player, and he's got lots of players. So I'm not going to be able to win it on pure attrition. It's going to come down to if I can remove his key players. And, he, you know, ultimately he's really got four or five or six really good players and loads of crap players, whereas I have all most players in my team are pretty good. So it's going to be interesting, yeah, and he is niggled as well. So, yeah. So, and what's his record? 29-5-5. Uh, not that good actually for undead, but again, when, once they get the higher TV, they uh, they struggle a bit. So yeah, I only have twelve players, so it's interesting. It's interesting. It's it's a bit. It's a bit. That's going to be tight, to be honest. That is going to be tight. That game. Um, then we've got undead ducky versus Norse. Um, so there's ducky's undead, nineteen thirty, though actually. 80 of that is to come off. 15 guys, a couple of dirty players, blood sure hands, sidestep fen, perfect. Perfect ghouls, really, actually. Perfect ghouls here. All right, maybe you could have wrestle tackle. Um, and obviously, Pom. Yeah, get more guardian, fair enough, they lack guard. Block mummy, stand firm mummy, fair enough. I mean, this is. He's got a guard. Well, I'm not sure about the frenzy, especially with agility four. Mm. Interesting. I mean, it's okay. It beats it, it's it's good having a frenzy on the team, uh, but I guess maybe he could change this a little bit. But it, it's 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 ultimately most undead teams are going to look the same around this TV, aren't they? You know, stacking stacking skills that they can on the whites and on on one or two ghouls. But uh, and obviously two dirty players. Who can bet against Ducky with 15 players and two dirty players? Not many people. 24-5-2, um, great record. As one would expect from Ducky. Uh, and he is playing against Norse. And there they are. 13-60 Norse. So this is a walk in the park for Ducky here. <laughs> he's missing a star berserker and a thing. So he's got six, seven, eight, nine. Two, two journeymen to go on. And then maybe like stars, apples, uh, wizard, all sorts of stuff. But you imagine Ducky's just going to tear through this. He does have a block pom yeti. So maybe this block pom yeti could do wonders. Maybe this pom berserker could do wonders. But yeah, I reckon, look, Ducky's going to foul. Ducky's got two dirty players. The first time this guy piles on, he's dead, basically. 
Um, so yeah, I reckon I reckon he's got no chance against Ducky. Twenty three four seven. Okay. Okay, record, but still. No, I don't think he's got any chance against Ducky at all. <laughs> no chance in hell. Maybe he could have like a Wizard and Cheney. Um, something like that, but still, even then. I don't fancy his chances against Ducky's team there. Right, then we've got Bretts with Elliot against DeBase's Orcs. Is the Ox nineteen twenty? Um, and oh no, he's got the Orc thrower. I don't like the Orc thrower. I do like the dirty player lineman, and this looks a, a million times better than the other Orc team, doesn't it? All of his black Orcs are blocked. Two of them have plus strength. He's got three guard in there, another plus strength blitzer. So he's got three plus strength players. Blodger tackle Pommer with jump up, very good. Mighty blow on the others. Edge four missing guard overall. To be fair, we would he would like another couple of guard on the team, wouldn't he? And guard on these as well if he could. But a uh, couple of stand firm. That's a pretty. That's a pretty nice. That's a pretty nice team in nineteen twenty as well. Only twelve players, so only two re rolls. But he's got the leader on the thrower. So yeah, that's a pretty. That's a pretty nice orc team. Twenty three five two. Probably about as good an orc team as you can make. Um, and he's got the strength of the guard, yeah, so it's not so bad. Yeah, he's why he's got two big guys. And he's up against Bretts. So, Bretts called humans. Elliot got the final with his underworld last season. He's really got underdeveloped blockers here. He would, he would like three guard or four guard, wouldn't he? Three guard and a, and a piling on mighty blow guy, all four guard. So he's got really, really bare bones blockers there. Um some blitzers that can do things but overall it's low tv he's got two rerolls plus the leader um 18 6 2 great record great record but um much like last season he's got a he's got a he's got a bit of a crappy team but a great record and you know let's see how let's see how well he plays but he will have a wizard and griff most games i guess which is going to be what he wants so yeah, I guess he's got half a chance. He's got he's got the sure hands edge four to to get the ball. He's got tackle. He's got mighty blow. He's he's got he's got you know he's got he's got the bare bones of what he needs. Though you'd have definitely want a three more guard for sure. Um. Right, and that but yeah, I think I'll, you've got to go for the orcs in that one, haven't you? Right, Pewpox Gold Farm versus Kemry. Uh, some Kemry team. <laughs> Right, some poor fucking Kemry team. Right, is it this one? Yeah. So the Kemrys are sixteen ten, and they've got skills that no one cares about because they're going to get murdered. Um, he's got a dirty player. He's got pot guard mighty blow on a couple of the tomb guardians, a couple of rookie tomb guardians, two pommers. I mean, they can do work. You know, randomly. I like how one's agility one and one's agility three. So he, he can do something, but really this is uh you know, this is gonna be rough for him. Twenty six twenty one five six versus twenty two hundred uh chaos. <laughs> um with strength five, claw mighty blow. Four five guards. Claw Pom Tackle Beastman, another Claw Pom Tackle Beastman, a weird dirty player, Rackle, Ball Carrier, Great Ball Carrier, Bludge, Bludge Dark Elf Ball Carrier basically. I like that he's got three tackle there. Um, dirty player of his own, 13 guys. Um, but yes, look, Kemri are actually a tough proposition for Chaos. They really are. Because they're going to foul you every time you pile on. You don't want to pile on on the crappy skeletons. But on the other hand, of course, if you can get to the, the Tomb Guardians and pile on them, it's amazing. So, um, so like, they've got the worst Claw Pom targets, but they've also got the best Claw Pom targets. So, yeah, I mean, you can't bet against Pupok here, can you? Thirty seven six seven, 37 6 7. Uh, pretty good record, isn't it, actually? Especially for, with Chaos. Um... 
but yeah, that's that's it's it, it'll be interesting. He won't be that happy because you know he's 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 out strength quite heavily. So he's but you know obviously once he gets the hits on if he gets hits on the uh, guardians that's that's it that's it. But you, you never know. Obviously, every everyone's got a chance. But yeah, huge favorite the chaos. And then we've got Dion Lord's Dark Elves versus Crystal Hunter's Skaven. Uh, so Crystal Hunter played about a million games. 45-4, and it's a, that's still a great record, you know. It really is a great record uh, to play so many games and to keep that to keep that win rate is very good. Um, though his team is not so good, is it? He's got he's got a nice he's got a nice gutter runner, but he isn't a natural one turner. He's got block, big hand, leap, pro. That is weird. A weird gutter runner there. He's gone the standard kind of sacky one there, but with minus AV. He's got a thrower. It's like, it's very haphazard, isn't it? A rackle one. Only mighty blow and mighty blow tackle on the storm of him. So his team's a bit, a bit crap. To be honest, his team's a bit crap. But it's Skaven. He's nearly got a one-turner. Uh, nearly natural. Like, it's a very good one-turner. It's nearly natural. It does have sidestep and two heads, so it's still very incredibly difficult to stop him scoring with it. Um, but, you know, injuries and, yeah, it's not looking such a great... Does he have a wizard shot? He's got the wizard shot and he's at home. So that, that's been key, I think, to his record. Um, and also key to him taking more attrition, really. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, him having the wizard every game is definitely going to be helpful. But And it's a really good record, but, yeah, his team looks hammered. To be honest, his team does not inspire terror to anybody, does it? Uh, right, Dark Elves. And then we've got 10 man Dark Elves, so they'll go to 17 10. And he's got two Edge 5 Witch Elves, so having him having a wizard might backfire on the Skaven here. And he's got some tackle, he's got f four tackle. Blodge step guard. He doesn't have any mighty blow, but he's got three three rerolls with a leader. Um, again, this is like a bare bones team, isn't it? But actually quite TV efficient. Sixteen five zero, so it did not lose. Um, that's actually really really quite. It's it's good but so light. Yeah, exactly. The team is good but so light. That is the that is the problem. No mighty blow. Couple of nice stats. No reserves. Bland. Bland, but you know it's still it's it's very yeah it's it's good but so light yeah. That's uh, he he could do it you know he could definitely cause the upset there. Um, so right that's that's all the teams. Now we can go back to the draw. And uh, if you bear with me here, right. So I reckon Zagini will get through here and, and he'll beat Huanchi, so we'll have Zagini up here. And then Crucifer will beat whoever wins out of them. You know, that that's gonna be harder to call, but I reckon Crucifer will come through. Crucifer versus Zagini will be ridiculous, won't it? Um I think Zagini's team is just too strong. So Zagini's gotta go through the semis for me. Alright, next next batch. We've got the vamps could cause and I think the default is that the bash team wins because you know vamps are so dicey but vamps could definitely do it especially with a super vamp uh, dwarves versus necro that's one a hard one to call as well these are both pretty hard to call um, th this one's even hard to call because it's such a bad human team and uh, this one's hard this is re actually all of these are really hard to call anyone could come out of those but whoever comes out, I think, gets hammered by Zagini or Crucifer's Chaufs. But yeah, I mean, that's anyone's guess who wins all these games. They're all not 50-50, but they're all, uh, well, so let's say Chaos, Necro, Chaos, um, Humans, High Elves, High Elves. Maybe High Elves come through it all. I don't know. That's really hard to call those, those I think, though. Um, Spartak only having 11 men makes it a lot dodgier. But he is a very good coach. Let's say Spartacle wins that one. Uh, Nurgle. I fancy Nurgle will win this. But And then I think they were light on tackle. But then they've got such a badass team. Maybe they could get through. 
let, let's say Woody's through here. Um, a dance, a dance team isn't that actually exciting, but I still think they could win. I'd put a dance through there. I'll back myself here. Though maybe it's a, it, it's a tough one to call, really. But let's let's say myself, and then I guess I'd lose to a dance because you know they're so much faster than dwarves. So maybe a dance gets through here. A dance versus the Nurgle or the Woodies. Maybe a dance gets through whoever it is, and then down here, Ducky. Ducky gets through to the quarters there. Um, Pupok, you've got to fancy him. And I guess Crystal Hunter. Crystal Hunter could even beat Pupok's team. Crystal Hunter versus Ducky, I think Ducky would take it on on the coaching there. So then we, we've probably got Ducky uh, versus a Dant. That would be interesting. Probably give the advantage to a Dant just because he's got Skaven. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, Zagini versus... I don't even know. <laughs> Mike the Machine. So maybe Zagini or Dan in the final. Who knows? But who knows? That's that's a long way away, the final, anyway, you know. It's going to be interesting. Um, oh, thanks, Rat and Blood. And uh, so there you go. You'd go with Christopher. Mm. I don't know. I think Zagini's team is, is unbelievable. Um, right, so that's... That's basically everything anyway, isn't it? That is uh, that is the preview. You can check out the, uh, the challenge playoffs. I'll put the link on the YouTube video. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.